J.K. Lee Sports, man. Look, I'm here at the Love and Peace Senior Game on the campus of Southern University, F.G. Clark Center. I'm real excited to be here, because look, let me toot my own horn right quick. I selected the rosters. But we ain't gonna talk about that though, man. Look, it's gonna be nice, man. I'm enjoying myself. I got all the highlights, man. It's gonna be a great experience. championship game uh play of the game yeah I, I gotta list all of that how's it feel man state championship feel good not that many people can get the opportunity so i feel good with it so look what, what what's the goals for next season the two feet gotta be there right oh yeah most definitely we're gonna get two feet in I'm... so look i watched the game and i saw y'all holding each other back before y'all went and got the trophy man i got chills man talk about that moment how was that moment man that was like the most best moment of the year. Like, this is really good. We're gonna do it again next year too. And I was gleaming with pride. I was so proud of y'all. Now I was watching on TV because I ain't I wasn't driving to Southeastern. But look, talk about cause you know they went to a zone on you and you went to your left side. They, I must have thought they must have thought you can't dribble with your left. They must be ain't watching tape. So how did how disrespected were you when they tried to force you to the left? Like you can't go left. I feel real disrespectful. I feel real. Cause when I seen they switch their defense, I was like, oh yeah, most good. we gotta start driving and dishing it off. Yeah, man, you did good, and hey, congratulations. Next year you gonna be in this game, huh? Yeah. Oh yeah, most definitely I'm playing. All right, straight up, man. <laughs> J.K. Lee Sports, I'm here with 3A Coach of the Year and the NAACP Coach of the Year, Dwayne Hayes, state champion. How did it feel to, to get that state championship, bro? I feel great, I feel great to be able to get the state championship, work on hard all year. Uh, so it feels good to be able to receive that award. I mean, you were just talking off camera. You talked about your summer league that you're going to be doing. How is, how is that coming together for you? It's coming together. I got uh, approximately uh, 14 teams committed. And uh, in the near future, I'll be able to get a schedule together where I'll be able to post it out so people can uh, know when it is and what day. But uh, as of the day, the game is going to be held on Mondays and Wednesdays. Um, the last weekend of um, May, uh, throughout the end of June. So if I'm not mistaken, the dates are May 26th to June uh, uh, 30th. Gotcha, gotcha. Well, look, hey, I'm invited to come cover the summer league, huh? Invited to come as often as you like. Appreciate that, Coach. I know you don't like the camera, he don't like the camera, y'all, but appreciate that, Coach. <laughs> State Championship, Coach of the Year, NAACP Coach of the Year, Coach Jeff Jones, man. I watched the game on TV, I wasn't there. But how did it feel to get that state championship, man? Another one, another one. Um, it was a relief after losing last year to Buzzer in the semis, um, breaking a streak of uh, five consecutive state titles. Um, it was like a sense of relief. So that's six now. That's seven. So next year we going for eight? Yeah, eight, going for eight, going for eight. We, gonna go for eight. we got a good group coming back. 
um, Percy Daniels, top player in the state. Pastor Williamson, Jalen Williams, Des, uh, Desmond Perkins, Desiel, uh brother. We're going to be good. we got a good freshman group. Got a good freshman group coming in. So, okay, uh, besides winning state championship, what's some of the rest of your goals for next season? Well, um, other than winning the state championship season-wide, that's the only goal. Right now, I'm, I'm into Louisiana Elite. Uh, we just started summer basketball, uh, playing on the Under Armour circuit. So right now, we're, we're getting ready, geared up for that, which is a good thing. Give a lot of these kids from all over the state opportunity to play in front of college coaches, get scholarships. So right now, that's what we're into right now. Coach, I appreciate you giving me a little time. You're another one that don't like to be on TV, bro. So I got to hound you, bro, but I appreciate it, my brother. J.K. Lee Sports, I'm here with senior forward, Zayim Jackson, Scotlandville. Came up a little short, state championship. Child play hard, only five players. Talk about the stress and only not having no subs. <laughs> uh, it was hard, you feel me? It was like getting it out, trying to push through it and trying to get the dub to get the win. All right, now, uh, you, you, you're getting ready to play in the, um, the fast break game. You nervous about that? Or you think you're gonna be able to show up and do something, man? Yeah. I, I, yeah. What? I, yeah, I can go out there and do something. It, it, it's on the family. It, 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 if my Duke's let me play, yeah, I'm gonna go out there and put on the show. All right. So, uh, how, how many points you average this year? Fifteen. Fifteen. You had a few triple doubles. Talk about having to go from being a guard to having to jump tip. Uh. It, it, it was easy, kind of, because the last two years I was playing under the goal, trying to rebound, but it was, it was easy. Well, I tell everybody all the time about you, what makes you so important to me is the fact that you're a captain, you waited your turn, and you came out and you showed up. I was here in this building when you knocked down a jump shot against Madison Prep. That was live. Talk about that. Yeah, it, it was good. It was the best feeling, I ain't going to lie. You knew it was going in when you shot it? Yeah. Man, you ain't know. Yes, I did. Man, you was nervous. You see you seen it. Yeah, it looked like it looked good from your hands, bro. It did. It, it looked like good butter. from your hands. <laughs> it was good, like butter. It was smooth. Straight up, bro. I'm, I'm glad you came up here. Give me a, a little quick interview because I think you about to be big time. You better, hey, bro, take care of your business, man. I'm going to come back. I'm going to come back. Straight up, bro. Appreciate it. <laughs> Boys coach, Dan Hurst, and politician. No, no. Yeah, kind of, a little bit. Community leader. I community mean. leader. Better word. There you go. Community leader. I'm here with uh, community leader, leader and uh, peace head coach, Dan Hurst. Talk about being a part of this third annual Love and Peace uh, basketball game. Well, uh, I play college football. People always wonder, why do you coach basketball? Well, this was my number one love. Just wasn't as good at it. But have the opportunity to coach a lot of young kids in the community. Uh, we've had about a thousand kids come through our program thus far. Had the opportunity to coach some great kids in high school. And um, this year, man, I, I think that these kids got shorted because of AAU last summer. They got shorted because of lack of college scholarships, recruiting due to the extended year. So any opportunity to expose these kids to college coaches, to um, JUCOs, to prep schools, I would love to be a part of that, man, because we have some amazing talent that won't get the opportunity that they should have gotten. Okay, man, look, all right, I'm going to give you the opportunity to put your coaching hat back on. What's your strategy, man? Because I know, you, you know, Pastor Eric Williams, you know, he's trying to win, right? You know, we, we all know he's trying to win. So what's your strategy going into the game? My strategy is a secret, but what I will tell y'all, I told Pastor Eric uh, Williams, I said, we're going to see who has a closer relationship to Jesus after this when the game is over. I think he's favoring me a little bit more for the dub today, man. Straight up, man. I appreciate it, man. Thank y'all for having me. I'm here with Team Love head coach and pastor Eric Williams. I want to see your competitive spirit come out today, so talk a little noise, man. You might not want to see that, uh, JK, because, uh, you know, I'll be running up and down the court, man. But look, man, it's going to be competitive, man. You know, I like to win. You know, I like to win. I like to play tough, and uh, it's going to be good. You got a good squad, man. Yeah. 
standing out. You know, Dez can play. Oh, yeah, yeah, man. I, all these kids, man, all these kids can play, senior kids. Man, it's going to be a good time, man. We're going to have some donks in here, too, man. We're going to have some donks. We're going to get down. I want you to let them peel back, too, bro. We're going to get down. I'm here with the madam, the first lady in charge. I, like, I'm nervous. Mrs. Mayor Sharon Broom. How you doing? I'm doing great. How are you doing? I'm doing great. How does it feel to be a part of this? Like, this is exciting. Like, I'm enjoying myself. Yeah, it's really great, you know, when the community comes together around an event like this. And, of course, we're celebrating our seniors, but we're also celebrating the community. And, look, I love the names of the teams. Team peace and love, you know, all day. So look, you're getting ready for the uh, the three-point contest. My camera going to be rolling. We going to be rolling. You going to win or what? Well, let me just say this. Uh, my goal is to get the ball in the basket. So it may be a, a different version of a three-pointer, OK? Look, I'm glad you gave me a couple of seconds of your time. Thank you, uh, Mayor Broom. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> J.K. Lee Sports, man, this is my last segment. Kind of bittersweet. But the boss man already told me I'm coming back for the fall for football season, so you already, man, man, don't make, man, stop it. Thank you for all, thank you for everybody for watching and supporting. I really appreciate all of y'all. Always remember me to follow me on social media, J.K. Lee Sports, on Twitter, Instagram, and YouTube, and on Facebook, J.K. Lee. Last time, but not the last time for the year, because the fall going to be up. Holla at me.